Hey everyone, so today is going to be a really quick video, but today is plaid week day six and I wanted to bring to you another Christmas ornament variation using mason jar lids and plaid of course. This project was so incredibly easy to do and some of you may actually have all of these items on hand. So I'm going to go ahead and share the item with you. Oh my gosh, this is not adorable. This is just a mason jar lid and I wrapped some plaid ribbon over the hard part of the top of the lid and I added this twine so that you could hang this on your tree and then this one is a different sort of plaid where I actually incorporated a sticker this is a sticker from Dollar Tree it is like a glittery snowflake and this is not ribbon this is actually from a man's button-up shirt so I had picked this up a couple of years ago at a thrift shop and I actually did one of my very first Christmas ornament DIYs I used um, this pattern so it will be in my Christmas playlist if you want to go check it out and see what else I did it was actually really cool I used a styrofoam ball and I wrapped it with a uh, plaid fabric this is just a quick and easy way to add ornaments to your tree or if you want to give these as a little gift to somebody co-workers neighbors just anything so I hope that you guys take this and build from it add you know the, the patterns and the decals that make you the happiest. I would have added a deer sticker here, but I couldn't find any that I really liked. I didn't want a flat sticker. I really kind of wanted something foamy like this or maybe even like a piece of wood. So I'm still on the hunt, but if I do find some small little wood deers, I will put them on the center of this plaid ribbon. So if you want to see exactly how I put this together step by step, then keep watching and I'll see you tomorrow for plaid week day seven. Bye! The first thing that I did was measure out the twine that we're going to use to hang up the ornaments. It was about 15 inches long. And then you simply want to put the two ends together and you're going to kind of tie it like a balloon. So if you tied the end of a balloon before, this will come really easily to you. If not, I'm hoping that this visual will help you just kind of loop it around and then tie it in a knot and try to pull the knot up as far to the top as you can. Of course, this length is going to vary by how long or short you want the ornament to hang from your tree limb. So then you just kind of loop it underneath like that and pull through the middle and then it will secure the tie around the lid. Then I just cut a piece of fabric from the t-shirt that I picked up at the thrift, do th thrift store and now I'm simply putting it on top of the lid and then I'm going to hot glue the back and then just kind of bunch the fabric around the back. You don't really see it, so it doesn't have to be extremely perfect. This wasn't the most graceful craft that I've ever done, but as you can see that it doesn't matter because the front is the important part and the front ends up being really nice and smooth, but you do have to pull the fabric tight. And then eventually I start cutting off excess, excess um, fabric just so that it's not too clumpy in the back. And then I'm gonna keep hot gluing until I have everything kind of secured as best as I can. And even though, as you can tell, it's still lumpy on the sides, like so, it's fine because once you put it inside the lid, just like this, see, you don't actually see that. So it's pretty perfect. And then we're just going to take some hot glue and run it around the inside of the rim here so that when we press the center back in, it will stick and it won't pop out. So now I'm pressing it in. And voila. I'm French now apparently, voila. So the last thing I'm gonna do is take the snowflake foam sticker from the Dollar Tree and secure it to the middle. I actually put this in kind of crooked. After I filmed, I had to peel it off and 
reposition it a little bit better, but it came off really easily and it sticks really easily. I, I don't know how that happened. Okay, so the next one is this plaid ribbon that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and I'm showing you that the sides are sticking out, but that's okay because the lid actually will, will cover that. So you really won't see it, but you do have to use at least two and a half inches wide. And I did the same thing that I did with the other fabric. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to click subscribe. Bye!